Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial video, we are going to explore an essential feature of the WinCC, how to set up an user administrator. This is a crucial for managing user accounts and permission efficiently. Let's jump right in. Before we and get started. Let's briefly discuss why user administrator is important. In a production environment, controlling who has access to certain feature is vital for security and operational integrity. User administrator can manage user roles, set permissions, and ensure that only authorized person access specific feature. So in this tutorial video, uh, we have like three different types of user accounts like operator, then we have supervisor and then engineer. Operator can only navigate between uh, different screens and supervisor have access to cite any value. And the engineer have access to shut down the runtime application. Suppose if I click here, right now no any user is logging. So if I click here, it is showing no operator authorization. Similar, if I will click here in the set point, it's not allow me to set any point. And similar manner here, then shut down button. So suppose I will uh, log in with operator account. So as you can see that right now I'm logging with operator name. So if I will click here in now in setting, so I'm able to successfully navigate between two different screens. So if I click here in the set point, it's not allow me. So I will log out and then log in with the supervisor account. So now I log in with supervisor account. So if I will set now any of the value, so as you can see, I'm able to set it. But if I want to shut down the application, it's not allowed me. So I will log out. Then I will log in with engineer account. So if I will click here, so as you can see, I'm able to shut down the application. So in this tutorial video, we'll learn in the user administrator, how we can create a multiple accounts and then how in the WinCC application, how we can configure those accounts and how we can configure different types of permissions inside the WinCC Scala. So let's start practically. So we already uh, created this project in our previous tutorial. So we'll use the same. So come here in the user administrator, right click and open it. The user administrator is open now. So right click here over the administrator group and click at the new user. So uh, I enter the new user name, operator. Similar manner, I will create one more user, supervisor. Okay. And similar manner, I will create one more user with the name of engineer. Okay. So first operator will set the password. Come here in the right side, the, select the password and click here and put the password okay, press ok ok then we we'll select here the 
uh, function. So I will select the function change picture. Or you can select the window, select answer. Okay. Then supervisor, I will set the password. And click at OK. And from here, I will select this uh, value input. This function I will enable it. Then the engineer, I will first select the password. Okay, press OK. And here I will select the project manager. I will select this function. So that's it. So here we select user input, value input and the operator who select the change picture. That's it. You just have to keep in mind these functions. So similar function will configure in the our graphical screens. Just close it. Now open the graphic designer and I will open the main screen, right click and open the picture. So our graphic designer is open now. The first step will configure the this input uh, login and logout button. So click, select the login button and come here the event mouse, mouse click and right click and select the C action. So I will remove this commented code. Okay, so I have already the script just to reduce the time. I will just copy paste this script. I'll share with you this script in the description. So this uh, script is for the login and just will change this instead of login we'll put logo that same script will use for the logo and then click here in the compile no zero error zero warning and click ok similar manner come here in the logo then mouse then mouse click right click then select the c action and just remove this code And I will paste the code that we already have. So here you can see just changes only the login and logo. Rest of it is same. So click here in the compile zero error zero warning. Then click OK. So then after that configuring the login logout button. Then we want once any user is login, it should show here the username. So for that I have here uh, one of the object and that is this io field object so select it and then come here the input output and then output value we just want to show the data so that's why I select the output value then select the output value right click tag and come here the internal tag and after that current username so it will, it's a default uh, tag in internal tag. So it will give us the default username. Okay. So we successfully configure login, log, log out, and the username, whatever the user is a logo. Now the second step, like we want uh, once only the authorized user can enter in this screen. So here. We uh, in the previous tutorial we already like put a script how we can navigate between the uh, different uh, windows. This already script we learned in the, our previous tutorial. So, but we in this tutorial like we'll uh, see how we can uh, put the uh, user administrator permission in this button. So come here in the miscellaneous air authorization and right now you can see no access protection is there so se select it and 
for this case, we have the change picture. So just like the change picture. So whoever user have the change picture access, only those user can uh, allow to navigate between different windows. Similar manner here, the set point, come here in the miscellaneous, no access permission. So I will select the input value. And uh, similar manner, do come down here and the shutdown button. Here also select miscellaneous and then click and here we select the project manager. That's it. Just save it and run it. So as you can see, our runtime application is uh, open now. So if I click here in the setting, it's not allow me. Similar manner, the uh, shutdown button is not allow me. So first step, I will click here. I will enter the low operator. Operator, then after that, I will put the password. So here you can see now the uh, user is operator. So it's mean right now we log in through the operator user. So if I will click here in the setting, so as you can see, we are successfully able to navigate between two different graphical screens. I will go back in the overview. And now if I will click here in the set point, it's not allow me. So I will log out and then log in with the supervisor account. So as you can see, right now the supervisor is logging. So if I will try to change any value, suppose 29. So I'm successfully able to write the value. But if I click here in the shutdown button, I'm not able to, I don't have the access. So I will log out. And now I will try to log in with the through user uh, engineer account. Engineer. So if I click here right now, as you can see the engineer uh, user is logging. If I will click here, so as you can see, my runtime application is shut down or turn off. So Alhamdulillah, we learn how we can configure uh, user administrator accounts inside the WinCC. And then we will learn how we can configure the login logout button and then we also learn how uh, if we uh, different uh, area like the screen navigation we can put uh, user authentication or permission over the set points so uh, similar manner you can use this technique in your uh, wincc application so thanks for watching this video